Welcome back to Local on 2. Our favorite Nashvilleian, David Ewing, is here to share some historical knowledge with us today. Now, you have sent us some pictures that are pretty amazing off your Instagram. You're going to tell us a little backstory of some of them, so we're not quizzing today. No, no quizzing, <laughs> just end of the year reflecting on some I good like Nashville that. history. So. Okay, great. So let's get to the first photo, and you can tell me all about it. So this was a brochure for Southwest Airlines. Remember when the schedules were brochures, and you Whoa. had to kind of look at them? Uh, they came to Nashville in 1986, and they had literally two flights, one to Chicago and one to Houston. Oh my. Now 57% of our, and that's the Southwest <laughs> map, 57% of our uh, airport flights out of BNA are Southwest Airlines. So I know they've been in the news a lot lately, but we love Southwest Airlines, and we really love our airport, which is run by Doug Krulin and a great staff, and I know it's been a very taxing last few days out Yeah, there. I bet. Oh, that's pretty neat, the pamphlets. Okay, moving on to the Parthenon. Now, the Parthenon was built originally 125 years ago for our 1897 World's Fair. There's actually an exhibit on display right now until January 8th, so if you're looking for something to do for the holidays, I collect memorabilia from the World's Fair, and I have the largest collection of such, and it's on display in a special exhibit called Looking Back. And some of the things, of course, feature our iconic Parthenon, and of course, the President of the United States was here for two full days, and I have a pass from fireworks where he watched fireworks at the Parthenon. Oh my gosh. And of course, you were talking about the Nashville Zoo with Rick before. We had our own wild animal display at the World's Fair in 1897, which was a big picture of it on display. San Diego also had a wild animal exhibit, and they liked it so much they made the San Diego Zoo literally in the World's Fair site out in San Diego. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And right now we're looking at that fireworks. Yes, yeah, so President okay. McKinley was here, and so that was a hot ticket, so you got to watch the fireworks with the wow. President of the United States. Okay, switching gears to the Ryman. Oh, one of the favorite places of everyone in Nashville. If you've not been to the Ryman for a concert, you should go. If you've not been on their tour, you should go. Uh, there's a new Rock and Roll Hall of Fame exhibit that's on display right now. But of course, the Ryman is also the place where the Grand Ole Opry was from mm. 1943 to 1974. And a big treat in the month of January, you could go see the Grand Ole Opry at the Ryman. And people like Vince Gill and Carly Pierce and Marty Stewart will all be performing, uh, Terry Clark. And so if you've never seen oh. the Grand Ole Opry at the Ryman, it's a real treat. Go, that's go amazing. in January. Wonderful. Okay, something about a Garth stub. <laughs> now, Garth, of course, is one of the most popular entertainers of any genre, but this is a 1990 Garth Brooks fan club pass, Whoa. which only had 400, well, this was number 445. There are millions of Garth Brooks fans. And, of course, Garth Brooks kind of broke the record for CMA Music Fest, the old fanfare. He signed autographs and took pictures for about 23 hours straight. What? Was at a fairgrounds. Yes. I didn't know that. We love Garth Brooks. That's amazing. Everyone loves Garth Brooks. That's really cool. Okay, somewhere else I love. Uh, Printer's Alley. So I took this picture um, last January during one of our big snowstorms, and this just went viral on my uh, Instagram page, the Nashville I Wish I Knew. And it's, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a, a musician carrying his guitar and amp, probably walking down to Lower Broadway. And no matter if it rains or sleets or, you know, live music is here 365 days a year. And there are all sorts of great bars. And these musicians, many of them play for tips. So when you go to bars and restaurants, you know, they ask for $20 to play for one of your favorite songs, but tip them anyway. It's been a hard last few years for the musicians with the pandemic. These are, this might be the next Keith Urban or Vince Gill playing down Aww. on Lower Broadway. And here's pictures of them kind of parking and, and walking with their 10 gallon Aww. tip jar. And Aww. so uh, the bars on Lower Broadway, there's so many great ones. Alan Jackson's Good Time Bar, Layla's, um, you have The Stage, John Rich's Red, so Redneck many. Riviera, you know, Nudie. So go, go patron all of these. I love it. We have time for one more. Okay, yep. So let oh, oh Emma's, wow. Emma's we lost Emma's and Rotiers earlier this year, and these were mm -hmm. pictures of kind of there's a new building going on there. But people are very nostalgic about old Nashville, so we can't keep everything. But you know, you know, we of course remember Emma's and of course the superlative florist. I love it. Thank you so much. Wow, those are beautiful photos and just capture the essence of 
Music City. Yes. All right. Well, I love you. Thank you for being here. Make sure that you check out the Instagram at the Nashville. I wish I knew to find out more from David and see some of those photos as well.